Hey guys, so Evan's got another uh, high roll hack for you. Yes, uh, hack one, zombie horse. Uh, he's <laughs> there is a stall. There's a Pona. She's not the favorite anymore. This is <laughs> anyway. This is a video on. Uh, well, I guess this is essentially a labyrinth guide video. Uh, uh, dance magic, dance magic. Yes. This world has three labyrinths in it, each one containing a shrine. Alex has done one of them. The Lome Labyrinth Island is one. Northeastern Akala, off the shore. Where I am now, uh, the North Lome Labyrinth, uh, in the northeastern Hebra region. Uh, closest shrines are there, there. Closest shrine for that one is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. And the third labyrinth is down here in the Gerudo, Eastern Gerudo area. And we've actually not been into it, so I forget. It's, it's like the East Gerudo Labyrinth or something. Closest shrine is the Sumas, Sumasama Shrine. <laughs> that sounds like fake Japanese. Uh, anyway, these labyrinths are really cool puzzles intended to be kind of neat Easter egg-like shrines for explorers about the world. Are uh, they? I found the one by accident and I cheesed it. Did you cheese it? I mean, I got I, I got on there and I landed like on top of the labyrinth and I was like, oh, well, I guess I can just keep doing this. And I just kept doing that. Until you found the insertion point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, essentially that's what we're going to do. We're going to use <laughs> Rivali's Gale, uh, the best power, to just kind of do a quick and easy labyrinth guide. This is going to get you all three labyrinths cleared in minutes. So here's the first one. Like I said, the North Lome Labyrinth. Fastest way is to get your horse from this stable and ride it up because walking from this shrine is whatever. There's also a uh, Lionel in the way, so watch out. Yeah, run past that. And there's you can get your skeletal horse over here. Cannot board it. The stable guide does not allow zombie horses in stable. I wonder if it'll eat a Pono while we're gone. <laughs> So normally, these labyrinths are really cool, and honestly, guys, I wouldn't recommend doing this method on your first playthrough if you're going to play more than once, because... I would. When you explore and find these labyrinths, they're just really big and really cool, and doing a big maze is awesome, and this, what we're going to show you, kind of takes away all the gravitas here, so... Evan, why are you giving them reasons not to watch the video? <laughs> anyway, normally... The, the trick with all these labyrinths is that our buddy Rivali lets us fly to the top of all of them, basically. So, when you get to the mouth of this labyrinth, you take Rivali, and you go up, and pretty much right to the top. So, from the top, from the entrance, you just run straight along this right side. You know, I think my new OTP is Stall Horse and Epona. <laughs> I ship it. And look at all this stuff you would be going through without... Oh, yeah. Anyway. Look, look at all that fun we're missing. You keep just going straight, and as you go straight, you'll see a treasure chest with a diamond in it. I think this is a diamond. Quick diamond? Yes. So, yeah, the key is just continue straight. Until you get to, right after the diamond the little indentation... You get to this kind of weird, this C-shaped thing. It's more like a G. Yeah, or a G. Anyway, if you just look down right in there. You see electric death. This side. <laughs> you'll see the two torches that signify the end of each labyrinth. Ah. So, uh, you know. Down, two torches. Down ah, we go. Ah, ah, You just jump in, float right here above the torches. Oh, yeah. Uh, this actually happened. When you walk into these mazes for the first time, you see this. Right. And you're supposed to. You get the shrine crest. Yeah. But jumping down from that point, you, you know, land up here, make a left up the stairs, and we've done it. We've solved. We've solved the maze. Excellent. Neat. Kazutoki Shrine. So that's one labyrinth down in like, I don't even know. Less than four minutes. Less than five minutes. Yeah, I was talking about zombie opponent. And when you get in here, the cages open up and you can just walk out. So, labyrinth one, done. So let's go now to 
uh, this one, normally to get here, you go to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. And I mean, I'm going to do it just to demonstrate, you know, how you'd get here without already having the shrine. But uh, it's essentially just a stamina check because it's easy. It's a nice, easy distance to glide to, but there's an annoying perma wind wall that just slows you down. So I don't know how much, sta let's find out how much, how, uh, how many stamina wheels are actually required. So teleporting to the ancient tech lab, you run around here to this sort of, I don't know, veil of autumnal trees here. I like that you use the word autumnal. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought it fit. And there it is. These, I, I love how these all look really cool. So you, you just glide, and this is it. And you're gonna see that at some oh, point. I didn't even see. I didn't even see the opening. See, I, I use Rivali's Gale to like get to the top. Yeah. Or to get higher up to make the the wall climb. Look at this. Uh, look at this wind. That's <laughs> what. How coincidental! And always here it is. Yeah, I think I had to chug stamina food the first time I did this. Yeah, I think two donuts should be enough. Or two wheels. They're yeah. called stamina wheels, are they not? Um, everyone calls them wheels. I don't know if the game has its own terminology. I think when you upgrade it, it says, do you want heart container or stamina wheel? Ah. I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah. you you. It looks like you just need one and like a fifth or so. If Stallhorse was the star of his own TV show, would it be called The Trotting Dead? Oh, there's a guardian. Eh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot about that. Should we kill the guardian? Uh, I mean... Let's kill the guardian. This isn't a... Okay, fine. This is a how to kill the one guardian. Okay, never mind, never mind. We can, well, let's avoid it. <laughs> Essentially, you want to go straight. See, right there, the shrine's up there. You'll want to go straight, but we're going to go around the guardian. We're going we're gonna to be sneaky. So you go straight ahead from the entrance until... I mean, normally you'd run right up the middle, but yeah, he, he can't see me. Oh, crap. I mean, he's going to now. <laughs> wow. Anyway. That guardian must be running on Windows Vista. Where the window is there, you come to the left side here, and you just want to go up before the guardian sees you, and right to the top. So again, from the entrance straight ahead, there's a window there. It'll normally be caged. Yeah, it's caged the first time you come through. Climb up just to the left of it, right here. Stick on this right side, and if you look down... Oh no, I guess you can't see, but right down here are the torches that signify the end of the maze. Right. And we've done it. So you just follow... Um, Oh, here's the thing. If you go up here, uh, do we have fire arrows? We should. Yeah, okay. This is, normally, you, you just go straight ahead, but if you go right up here, oh, no. I'm sorry. If you burn the moss. I mean, it's thorns. Or thorns. And, yeah. It takes a while to... You're just the kind who wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Yeah. This is a slight detour, but if you just take out those thorns with some fire and walk along here, you are presented with a great flame blade. Oh, I've, I've always I've always wanted one of those. Oh, well, we're full. But there it is. Anyway, that is a side tour, side trip. But uh, yeah, from from where we dropped in, you just follow stairs. There's going to be some keys. Ignore the keys. Or kill him. Who cares? We don't care. Yeah. I, I care. <laughs> don't do not do it. Okay. And there we are. You can also fall down there and get to the Guardian Graveyard. Yes, you can. And there will be lots of death. Look but there's thing. also a free uh, diamond uh, tiara thing. So, Labyrinth number two, knocked out. Easy peasy. Final Labyrinth. And... Yeah, each of the shrines, each of these shrines within the labyrinth has... <laughs> nice. 
has a piece of the uh, Barbarian set, I think it's called. Or the There's a set of gear that Bar- increases barbar- your attack. It's Barbarian. I have, yeah. the, I have the helmet. Okay, yeah. Uh, does your third one require Revali's Gale? No, it's it a, doesn't. It's on cooldown. All right. That's why I did the other two first, okay. yeah. This other one, uh, the shrine we teleport to, and I'll show it again, puts us well above the labyrinth, so we can just drop right in. Oh. Like the cheating cheater you are. Yeah. Cheatingly. So. We, t- uh, we look. Derek Cheater. So here's the labyrinth. This one, as you may be able to tell just by looking, is actually the hardest. It's it's much simpler looking design is a total lie. <laughs> the main entrance is here. This one's terrible. There, it's like squares within squares, and it uses a lot of the third dimension. It's not it's not good. So <laughs> from uh, from right here, the Sumasama Shrine, which is on top of Mount Grange. You can see down, and what we're looking for is, you can see the labyrinth is kind of in, divided into four quadrants. Right. We want to land on the southeastern, right there, essentially. I'll put, a, I'll put a thing. Right there. So from here, you just jump down. And of course, there's wind. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's always wind. Yeah, fun fact, there's actually a giant wind wall, I believe, protecting you from escaping Hyrule. Oh. As I found out because I jumped off of Death Mountain to try to get to those cliff edges. Uh, Death Mountain is higher than them, but very strong wind uh, prevents you from doing anything. I'm surprised they don't try to, they didn't try to make that into lore. So you're going to want to land right here on the southeast quadrant next to that square. And when you look down from this spot, you'll see Ganon stuff. That's how you know you're in the right place. The uh, Ganon's essence. So what you want to do is jump down into Ganon's essence. Glide on this side. Go right in here. Wow, that's very, very annoying to do. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, normally you'd see that message at the beginning. Of the maze, just you make your you make your left, and there's the torches. The dessert labyrinth doesn't have a lot of ice cream, despite the name. And we've solved all three shrine, all three uh, labyrinths, in uh, a matter of minutes. Uh, solved is in air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solution. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that is a that's just a fast guide to beating all the labyrinths, getting yourself. Three shrines, three spirit orbs, and the barbarian set. Suck it, three move. <laughs> Indeed. I think he's the guy who came up with the uh, the maze solution. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, for more cool stuff, uh, check out everything we have to offer. All right.